and she says and why is it that you would come to me that the mother of my Lord should come uh oh now she getting deeper she says blessed are you among women other words God's gonna give you a name sugar turn to your turn to another woman say God get ready to change your name and people are gonna be talking about you in a positive way hello somebody she said blessed are our thou among women which it means turn to your neighbor and say hey that woman of God God get ready to change your status quo yeah yeah you hear me Pastor Jackie God's Jacqueline God's get ready to change your name in this city she said you are gonna be picked out among other Hispanic women uh -oh. this is a time where God has separated to bring people out uh, of caves of deserts uh, uh, of, of areas where no one has seen them they don't know where they're coming from they're, they're just appearing everywhere people are, are stuck uh, doing other stuff but God has remained uh, with a couple of people in different areas different nations different states uh, where they have been gone and into they see with the Lord and no one has ever known them they have maybe never spoken inside of a church uh, but this is the time where God is unleashing them for their purpose uh, for their destiny I don't know if you're one of them tonight but it's uh, your time to shine it's your time to be unleashed uh, towards your destiny it's your time for your uh, destiny to occur tell your neighbor it's today it's today it ain't tomorrow it's today I'm ready Tonto. So when Mary got to Elizabeth's house, Mary had already been empowered to the Holy Spirit. But here is the thing, Mary didn't know that she had been empowered by the Holy Spirit. So when she got to Elizabeth's house, she didn't even know that God had set her up. God said, it's going to take more than your mama to help you where I'm getting ready to release you. Your mama going to teach you how to be a wife to Joseph. But Elizabeth is going to show you how to carry your anointing. God is saying, I need uh, to meet the demand of a fatherless generation. People nowadays uh, don't care if they have the father or the mother. We can see it out there in society. We don't need that in our churches. Uh, we need to retrain. We need to be true mothers and fathers uh, and say, I'm going to take you in. Your biological father wasn't there, but I'm your spiritual father. Your biological mother wasn't there. She gave you away. She didn't want you. But I'm going to be your mother. I'm going to train you up in the ways of the Lord. I'm going to show you how to be faithful. I'm going to show you how to have integrity. I'm going to show you how to be a man and a woman of God. God needs people like you that say, I'm going to take you under my wings. And I'm going to show you the way. I'm going to make a way. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to love you. I'm going to hug you. I'm going to give you everything that you didn't get in your childhood. Where is that generation? They said, I am, I am the mother, I am the father that God is looking so that I can have the next generation.